नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं अभिजीत और आप देख रहे हैं एबी स्टडी सर्कल वीडियो में आगे बढ़ने से पहले अगर अभी तक आपने इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो इस चैनल को जरूर सब्सक्राइब कर लें और बेल आइकन को भी जरूर दबा दें क्योंकि जब भी नया कोई वीडियो आएगा आपको नोटिफिकेशन मिल जाएगा लेट्स डाइव इन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट गॉयज टू डू ला थियोरम एंड वी विल सी दैट हाउ इट इज रिलेटेड टू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इरिवर्सिबिलिटी ओके सो लेट्स हैव द गॉयज टू डू ला थियोरम so goy studler theorem says that goy studola uh, theorem this goy studola theorem says that uh, the rate of increase of irreversibility irreversible ability or you can say that it is the loss of available energy is directly is directly proportional to rate of entropy generation suppose mathematically i dot is nothing but w dot that is loss what is this loss it is nothing but your unavailable energy the increase in unavailable energy or the loss of available energy okay so uh previous in the previous video of when we have discussed about the concept of available energy we have seen that this is nothing but t0 ds universe right here it is uh, in the rate form right? so d dot right okay and it is nothing but t0 del s gen dot okay so here this T zero is what it is the surrounding surrounding temperature and you can say that it is the proportionality constant. Okay, now. if we remove the rate form we can say that i can be written as t0 ds universe how we will get this let's see with the help of the concept of irreversibility can we get it or not so uh with the help of irreversibility what is irreversibility irreversibility is nothing but it is the difference between w max minus w actual okay or you can say that it is w loss or it is is the uh, loss of available energy right okay so uh, let's consider for a closed system undergoing a process so your w max as we have calculated it in the concept of availability it is u1 minus u2 minus t0 S one minus S two, okay, right. And from first law, I can write W actual as U uh, one minus U two plus Q system. How we got this? it is uh, the
this we got from d cut q is equal to d u plus d cut w for a process it is nothing but the first law for process from this from this we got this one okay so let's move little further and let's put the things in place so i is equal to w max is u1 minus u2 minus t0 s1 minus s2 minus w actual that is uh, u1 minus u2 minus q system the this is the heat which is transferred to the system as the heat is transferred to the system it is positive right so we can write it as uh, see this is cancelled out and this sign i am bringing this inside so we have t0 s2 minus s1 right okay and we have this uh, uh, minus q system see if the system if a heat this is a system if heat is transferred to the system that is a positive q for the system it is positive but for the surrounding it will be negative both will be equal right this heat the surrounding is losing and the system is gaining right so that's why that's why here we have a positive heat transfer now let's uh, change this into the heat which is related to the surrounding so it will be t0 this is nothing but it is ds system and it will be positive because it's positive for the surrounding it will be negative that negative and negative will be positive and it will be surrounding okay for surrounding uh, q surrounding by t0 is ds surrounding okay so q surrounding is t0 ds surrounding right so i am i will be using this one here okay so i have t0 ds system plus this is what t0 ds surrounding right okay so let's as t0 i we can take it out as common so we have t0 in bracket ds surrounding plus ds system and this is nothing but it is t0 ds universe right so i is t0 ds universe which is desired which is desired see this is what we was intended to have right okay so now let's have a good observation here see as you know as we know as we know uh, that ds universe is always greater than 
is always greater than zero. That is the principle of increase of entropy. Right? As it is greater than zero, that means I is always greater than greater than or equal to zero because for irreversibility it is greater than zero or for reversible thing the universe will be equal to zero. So irreversibility also it will be greater than or equal to zero. That means that means. irreversibility can never be negative that means this implies this implies that irreversibility irreversibility can't be negative negative can't be negative right so uh, for now we are closing this thing up what we have seen we have seen that irreversibility can't be negative and we have seen that irreversibility is nothing but it is what it is t0 del s and this is what it is the loss of work and this is your unavailable part unavailable energy right so this is also this i this irreversibility is also known as degradation 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 or dissipation right degradation or dissipation because it shows the loss of available energy or it shows the unavailable part of the energy supplied. Okay, uh, that's all for today. We will be meeting up in the next video. And if you find this video very useful, please like the uh, press this like button and share with your friends and if you have any doubt the comment box is always open for us comment and i will be answering your query